All right, guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how I use Google Analytics for SEO. You can use this whether you're doing an SEO audit on a website or whether you're using this for ongoing SEO for a website that you're actually trying to optimize. So there's only a couple of main things that I really actually use Google Analytics for, and I'm going to show you what they are here. You can use it for both e-commerce stores and service based businesses like lead gen websites and things like that. The process is largely the same for both of them. Basically, the first thing you need to do is obviously set up Google Analytics for and you'll want to set up conversions on everything you're trying to get users to do. So whether that's to make a purchase on an e-com store, you need to set that up. I'm going to put a link above to e-commerce store set up here. And for lead gen websites, you'll need to set up things like tracking the form, tracking the phone number, click things like that. I'm going to put now a link to the setup for that as well. So you set that all up first. And once you've got that set up, then you can actually see this data in Google Analytics and you can use that from there. So basically, I'll show you the parts of Google Analytics that I personally use and then you can go from there. So what I normally use is I go into acquisition and traffic acquisition. And this is the report that I've just found the most useful for my particular use case. But basically, this report gives you an overview of where your traffic comes from and then some data that you can put here for this traffic as well so you can see it now this is the closest thing i've found to the old universal analytics report which is probably why i found it the most useful but it's basically the closest thing and then from here what this allows you to do is it allows you to see the organic search which will be the google search like the traffic coming from google search and then some of the other traffic sources as well if you're running anything out like ads or let's say social media things like that you can see that here and usually you get a lot more columns i've removed a lot of them because i find most of them not really useful i usually just leave conversions and the user conversion rate so i can get an overview of what that looks like and the users and sessions now one other thing that could be useful for seo purposes is the engagement rate now i don't particularly care about the engagement rate as such however this can influence the seo so i'm just going to add it here as well because if your site has a low engagement rate then it can actually drop in the google search results because that does impact seo as well so you need to be aware of that but the engagement rate is pretty good to see if you're getting a decent amount you really want to have over 50 percent engagement rate this is just google's measurement of how users engage with your website so are they actually doing anything when they land on your site or are they just leaving with no interaction whatsoever if they're leaving with no interaction that's a pretty bad sign and that's not what you want so that's why keeping an eye on this is not a bad idea however if you're tracking conversions and you've got a decent conversion rate like five percent plus or if it's a sale it's usually between one and three percent for e-com stores then something's usually correct anyway so you should be fine there but basically what i use this for is i look at the organic search obviously keep keep an eye on how many users are landing on the website through organic search. You can also take a look at direct because these are return visitors in my case. And then you can see how many conversions they've completed. Now in this particular case, it's primarily looking at who clicked the affiliate links I have on this website and went to the wherever the affiliate link takes them. And you can see the conversion rate is about 5% of people click the link, which is not too bad. It's decent for this particular case. So that's most of the information that you're gonna need. Now, if you're running an e-com store here, you could have purchases or add to carts, whatever you're tracking. If it's a lead gen website, you would have like phone number, click, form submission, things like that. That's what I have in the sites that are trying to get leads. And then what you can also do is you can add filter and you can do like a specific country. So for instance, you can also do demographics like age and gender if that's specific to your case in my case it usually isn't but if you're selling something specific to that it might help but what you can do is the country and that usually i find that useful if i'm trying to target a specific country i usually go exactly matches and then pick the one that i'm targeting in this case would be united states and we'll see how many people actually came from the United States specifically onto the website. And that can eliminate a lot of like random traffic, spam, things like that that might not necessarily be useful, especially when it comes to conversions. Because what you'll find is sometimes you just get spammed by people from you know foreign countries and it's not relevant to you or if you're reporting to a client. So what you do is you just put country matches whatever country you're supposed to be getting the leads from and then just count those conversions. And that's going to give you a much more accurate representation of what's actually happening with the website. Now, other than this one, what I usually also do is you can go into user attributes and here you can find some good information about the users if you want to get more detailed. So for instance, like demographics, like where they come from, this can give you a good overview of like where the users come from and their conversion rate based on the place they come from, how many conversions they've completed and things like that. That can be an interesting thing to see as well, because then you can optimize for a particular place. If you're targeting local, that's obviously not as useful to you. So take this information as you need it 
The other thing I would also look at is under engagement, you can see conversions. And then here you'll be able to see conversions, more details on the specific conversions. You can filter which conversion you want. And you can also filter like various other things. Like for instance, let's say geography and we go country and it's going to show us what country they came from, all the, the different conversions that we got. So let's just go back to, let's say for instance, the affiliate link click. So now we can see where we got most of the conversion. So if we filter by max conversion, you can see United States, which is basically my target audience. So that allows you to see various filters in here more specifically on just the conversions themselves. And that's mainly it. Like, honestly, this is basically all I use. It's just to get an idea of the traffic that's coming in, the conversions, how many conversions they're actually getting from what channels and what the conversion rate is. And that's basically it. Like I haven't found a need to go any deeper than this personally. There are use cases where you might need to, but for most general websites, you know, local businesses, lead gen, e-com stores, this is basically all you're going to need. So that's all I look at. And that's all I think that's very necessary. If you've got a, another particular thing you think would be useful, feel free to throw it in the comments below. Otherwise, if you have any questions about any of this, just put them in the comments as well. And I will actually answer them. Otherwise, that's basically it for this video. If you want me to coach you on how to do SEO or Google ads for only $49 a month, go to learndominatemarketing.com. And if you'd like us to do the SEO or Google ads for you, or you need help setting up your Google analytics as well, go to dominatemarketing.io, book a call with us there. Catch you on the next one.